to be here today. My name is Dexter Pratt, and I'm here to talk about uh, work that we're doing at the Index Project that is about social strategies for community source biological network and ontology resources. So with that mouthful, let's start with what we really mean. We want more expert content, we want better expert content, and communities are the place to get it. So we're out of University of San Di UC San Diego. We're in the Eidecker Lab, which is also home for Cytoscape. We're funded by the NCI through the Informatics Technology for Cancer Research Program. And is this it? No? Sorry, where's the advance button for this? No? On the, yeah, not going. Something's happened with the mouse. Click anywhere. Okay, I can click there. Okay. All right, so what is index? And basically, we are infrastructure for uh, networks, and we support community uh, source content. We're a public con commons for ne biological networks, and we, by that we mean any kind of network, large, small. The users control the content. This is not a repository where you submit content or where people curate the content. This is user-driven content, and so very different challenges. We take big amounts of content now. Uh, the users can shore the store, share, and publish their networks. Findable, <clears throat> findability, the scientists can find their network. So we have a whole API for search, a whole interface for search. They can access them. Uh, and so you can see where I'm going with this. Um, and then the, the networks have stable, unique identifiers for reference and, re and reuse. Hence, we are extremely bingo oriented here. <laughs> okay, so the, the other thing I want to point out is when we say every kind of network, we really mean every kind of network. People often think, well, you mean pathways, you mean molecular mechanisms. No, we mean any kind of network. So here's one that uh, comes out of the Eidecker lab. Mike, you generously <clears throat> uh, allowed me to quote some of his unpublished work. Uh, a pipeline that derives uh, an ontology from uh, gene similarity data. And so here's the network that Mike produced that's an ontology of Fanconi anemia. And here's that network and index. Okay, so just any kind of network you want as long as it's got nodes and edges. Okay, so given that we've got this infrastructure, why do we want community content? I mean, expert content is the first thing. We want experts to do this. Where are we going to get them? Uh, curation teams are great, but at the end of the day, they're not the people in the labs that are closely, most closely connected to the cutting edge re research. And that connection to the cutting edge is we want them up to date. I, if you look at the last commit dates on many repositories of networks, some of them are getting pretty old now. Um, and then finally, it's the commons. So it's not about having just one opinion. It's not this is the network for a particular pathway. There's room for discussion. So we must have divergent mo mo models, and that's, again, why it's user-driven content. So why should people participate in this? Well, part of it is we want to create topic-focused communities. So instead of saying we have one big community that is the, uh, the, the, the network bio, uh, creation community, clearly we want something like if Mike's, Mike's network would be relevant to a Fanconi anemia uh, community. And so within that, yes, create, review, revise by the participants in that community. And notably, we need the tools to allow people to collaborate, collaborate to co-edit, and we want things to be able to diverge and coalesce, where people can reuse something, modify it, bring them back together later. It needs to be a dynamic um, uh, set of tools that can be driven on top of this infrastructure. Now, why should I participate? I'd love to have that as a resource, but why should I spend my, copious, my, my scarce free time, my, my hard-earned effort to do this? Okay, so we needed to come up with a set of social strategies that would be supported by the infrastructure that would m motivate people 
to participate. So the first thing is publication. We are all driven by publication, and therefore we've put tools into our infrastructure to make the path to publication as easy as possible. And so here's a, a flow where I have my networks that my collaborators and I were ready to publish on. We're going to gather them into a collection. So we support collections of networks as uh, the, their own DOIs, their own uh, uh, unique identifiers as well. And so now I get a URL, a, an anonymous your, shareable URL we generate for that, uh, for that network. And how, how long? Wrap it up. Oh, boy. All right, we're, okay, so I'm going to cut to the, the really important part is, as soon as I got cut off, we're here, we have a booth, we would very much like to talk to you in more detail about this, so come see us. Um, you don't have to go to a journal to publish, we are making it very easy, therefore, to people to commit their networks and ask somebody else, do you like my networks? And that prestigious organization can gather them up into their collection, effectively being a novel publication. We preserve a author credit in a tree-structured uh, history of provenance. So again, in derivative works, there's a trail, or at least there is if you're a good person and don't delete the trail. And finally, we're work in progress that we'd very much like to talk to people about for collaboration is a pipeline of NL and data-driven additions to networks combined with reference networks to create augmented networks, which are then passed to the editors, to, uh, the experts, to just edit by review, accept, correct, reject. We get an improved reference network, and that cycles around for the, the cycle to start again. So we're trying to f reduce the barriers to entry not only is it we want you to motivate you, we got to keep your time low. And part of that, I'll just finish with, we do not enforce very many standards. The, word, you know, the, the key point is don't enforce it. We never want to say, take your networks and go someplace else, we don't want you. On the other hand, we reward you for adopting standards with things like better search ranking. <laughs>